Hello there, kia ora. It's Friday, and again, it's been a really weird week. Like how yesterday, David Seymour was crowing that Curia Polling, the only polling company that regularly puts ACT on 9%, ought out a poll that says the majority of New Zealanders support the Treaty Principles Bill. Despite saying just last week that there is no bill, so how could anyone have formed an opinion on it? Or that yesterday, Hamilton City Council voted to retain its Māori ward with only one person voting against it, who happens to be a member of ACT. And somehow didn't see the irony of putting on social media this complaint about a small minority dictating things to the majority of people. You know, that party that always gets 9% on Curia polls. There was the fact that I had a tweet that I put out that was read in Parliament in the House in a debate. That feels really strange. Or that my local MP, the subject of that tweet, blocked the Waitangi Tribunal from presenting to the select committee he chairs, the Māori Affairs Committee, almost like he knows the tribunal isn't going to be a fan of his work. I actually had a chance to speak to former Speaker of the House Adrian Rurafi about this just yesterday, and you can watch that interview tonight on our live stream on YouTube and Facebook from 8 o'clock. Yep, late in self-promotion. There was the TVNZ putting out a Why You Can Trust Us document that explains how they do things, which upset a lot of people who seem to want to be angry all the time and still blame Jacinda for absolutely everything. So my newsletter today for paid subscribers explains what else mainstream media can do to rebuild audience trust. And I mean, it might not necessarily be a topic some people think I'm an expert on, but it is actually what I'm qualified in. But it's also free for everyone from Saturday, so you don't need to rush for that one. Oh, there was the climate change denial talk from the Deputy Prime Minister in Tonga, a member's bill from the Deputy Prime Minister to shut down Auckland Transport, and an announcement from the Deputy Prime Minister with red rags to the cookers about the expanded COVID inquiry. Why else would you put on Tanya, let's hang all the politicians, you can't call me anti-trans just because I hate trans people, Unkovic, in the announcements? Oh, by the way, did you know that I can say Tanya Unkovic is clearly a conspiracy theory pushing spreader of disinformation and anti-trans in these videos because of the rules around online media, but Ingrid Leary can't in the select committee in Parliament. So I'm going to ask her about that tonight as well, because she's also on the show. Then there's the US election, which is in full swing at the moment, which, to be honest, I don't have a huge deal of information on. But I will, with the help of my friend and political science lover, Art, and his new YouTube show, which I'll be hosting on my channel, which will explore the US election each week, which he describes as his Super Bowl. If the Super Bowl was like the end of Gremlins 2 and the foyer of the building, where they're all melting and being fried at the same time. There was the leaked documents that showed the government cutting funds to the disabled community, the leaked documents that showed the government making more health staff redundant, the leaked documents that proved Casey Costello put tobacco company talking points in cabinet papers, and that super awkward press conference with Ginny Anderson getting her police beat cop numbers wrong, and then digging down on it. So I'm going to go and prep for tonight. There's Ingrid Leary, Michael Wood, Adrian Rudafi on the show from 8 o'clock, one of those people is actually the great-grandson of a prophet, so it's going to be a fascinating conversation no matter how you look at it. So yeah, join me from 8 o'clock, go check out the newsletter, and you might not hear from me for the next couple of days while I sit back and redo some lighting around here or, you know, dust everything. So, tune in tonight, I will catch you guys all there.